Hello, Greybeard here. We're going to do another ride, just a regular old ride, to show you what the difference is in the way the leaves will fell and the colors and stuff next to the Dollar Gen Troll. Hopefully, it's by uh, microphone still working okay. But yeah, we're going to take off. And oh, before we do, don't forget to like the video if you did, hopefully. And you can lie to me if you didn't hit the like button. <laughs> but, anyways, uh, definitely. Uh, Subscribe if you haven't yet and share the crap out of it. Get the uh, camera in the mount. Yeah, evidently, uh, some of these uh, little screws that screw the camera into the mount, you know, to mount it. Uh, some of them are longer than others and I used what I thought was my normal one and uh, it uh, wouldn't tighten up enough for the camera to hold itself up in my chesty and uh, pulled it out and grabbed another one that I had in my uh, little knockoff shorty and it uh Tightened right up. Good lord. Go ahead. You can go ahead. doesn't ventilate very well it was starting to fog up but uh yeah so that one I don't know what I'm gonna use it for it's one of them I bought a kit that has all kinds of GoPro stuff like it's chesty it's a knocked off knock off chesty but it works pretty well see all the fall colors a lot of the leaves have already fell but uh anywho yeah, one of them probably came out, that one I was talking about that wouldn't tighten up, probably came with one of the uh, knockoff mounts. It's funny, the speed limit here is 25 and this car is right on me. And the people in front of me are leaving me. But the speed limit is 25. And especially when it gets really cold, you definitely want to watch your speed on this road. In fact, I don't even use this road when it gets really cold. Because it ices up real bad because it's right next to this creek. I'm doing 30. Or 29. Now I'm doing 30. Yeah, it took this thing to fire, a while to fire up at first. Uh... I mean, I cranked it and cranked it and cranked it to where the uh, the battery was starting to give out trying to crank it. And, uh, anywho, uh, I kick-started it and it fired right off on the first kick-start. It, uh, it, it, would, it would, like, try to fire, but then it would shut right off directly after. It's like, I'm wondering if the Bendix is messing up on my little starter. If I need to get a new Bendix or a new starter and Bendix I don't know just to be safe they're cheap I hope you're not hearing all the little bits of wind noise I'm hearing. I know the last video I made, I used this microphone and it seemed to do okay. Like the old Chevy trucks. I had an extended cab, but it was a two-wheel drive like that. Mine was uh, about, well, yeah, exactly the same color as that S10 I got. Indigo blue. Metallic.
I like also how with this mic set up uh, of course I can wear my full face and you can hear me but uh, and that's the whole reason why I bought it uh, but you can still hear the the motor it's just not near as loud I ought to do a couple rides here in a little while and on the uh, the minis with this full face this used to be my helmet I mean it was still is but when I got that half helmet uh it's just easier to slap on and deal with but now that I know this mic setup works pretty good we'll uh employ it a lot Also, when it tried to start, when I was trying to start it anyway, with the electric start, it would, like after a couple of times of trying to crank it, it would go, like that. And as soon as it'd kick off, I'd let off the, uh, the uh, starter and try to give it a little gas, which is what I'd normally do to make sure it, you know, stays running. It would just die. Now, I might have flooded it trying to start it hard to say but it's set you know since I've done that last video I haven't really wrote it nonsense Yeah, I'm thinking about switching that carburetor out though for sure just to see if it gives it a little more oomph. I'm pretty sure it will with the uh, airflow thingy. You know, the little mini cone filter. They say these boxes on these, these factory boxes are quite restrictive. I keep meaning to put my gloves on and keep forgetting they're not like real riding gloves or nothing they're like close fitting work gloves kind of like in mechanics gloves but not as nice but it seems like I'm losing power on heels compared to what it already was doing I can't remember if this is how low it went before or not but uh I tried to go up them steep hills uh, after that last ride. I like to not got over the diagonal hill because you got you got to go up one of them roads somewhere. And uh, I'm gonna pull over here, get me gloves on. Fingers are starting to get a little chill. Here's a Honda wannabe truck. They almost made it look like one. Oh, the ridge line. I think it's funny how they went from a what looked like a mini Chevy Avalanche, only in Honda, you know, badging, to uh, now like a somewhat of a pickup truck. See on a fairly flat surface like this you know it's not completely flat but it's fairly flat it takes right off I mean you know it's not no speed demon or nothing but now we're going downhill so of course we're going into the wind which kind of slows it down but you get over this hump here uh, that's where we got 37 before I think we uh, hit 38 the last time 
Yeah, I'm, I, I, I was thinking it was the belt, but I'm wondering if, if this is mostly the carb. Might oughta get some fresh gas. Yeah, we're running on some fairly old gas, not old old. But uh, you know how this new gas is, I don't know if I, I can't remember. I usually try to run the 100% gas, but uh, I can't remember if this has got any ethanol in it or not. And when it has ethanol in it, it doesn't uh, stay as long as 100% gas. It starts to degrade a lot quicker. It's 33, 4, 5, 6, 7. Come on, give me 8. Come on. No. We got 37, though. At least we got the same on that. I was thinking we might have got 38 last time, but we may not have. I can't remember. I'd have to go look at the video again. Must have been a bad accident here. Somebody put a little memorial there on the left. If you look up at the tops of the mountain, the trees up at the very top, you can see there's a little less foliage on them trees. Just like the ones down here. If you look up, if you can see that there on the hill. I don't know if you can now. Uh, uh, let's pull over here real quick. You can see the colors. The different colors of the different trees for fall. This building here used to be a Lowe's. And then it was some kind of sign company, Akin Signs or something like that was the name of it. I tried to get a, a job here a while back. But, uh, and I think they was trying to hire me, but I ended up getting a job at uh, the town of Bluefield, Virginia. This is back in 04. probably should have went around turned around and went back <laughs> but you can see the mountain from here too Whew, see the deer I scared them but yeah that'll that'll be on the video <laughs> I don't know if you'll see them running, uh, but I, uh, just as soon as I come around that corner, they, they heard me and took off. Keep your eyes peeled, there might be some more. Yeah, this is the edge of town, and uh, it's not uncommon at all to see uh, plenty of deer around this area. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, two. No, no, no. So we got forty-four last time, but I'm wearing my jacket. For some reason, it feels like I'm hearing a lot more wind noise than last time. Going by my ears. <laughs> yeah, I should be doing 34 right now. I just, I don't know what the deal is. Seems like it's not got the 
like it's losing a little bit of umph. Like I say, the last time after I shut the uh, camera down on the last video, I tried to go up over that steep part and uh, where it went down to like nine mile an hour one time. I think the next time it went down to like six. This time it, it went down to nothing. <laughs> it didn't want to go. Then I went down the road to another, what I thought was less steep part of the hill. Uh, uh, went to go over it. Yeah, it didn't want to go over that either. Letting the cars go by. Yeah, I went to that next road and it wouldn't go over it. And uh, then I had to go over this other one. I was afraid I wouldn't get to go over it, get it to go over it, but it went over it. But it was a busier street, and I try to stay away from traffic on this thing. That's why I always come over to Bluefield, Virginia. The roads are a little easier to navigate on this thing you know as far as its lack of power because it's not as not as hilly in most places and like I say for the most part it's a lot less traffic I guess I could slow down. It's actually only 25 through here. <laughs> Cut back, back across the tracks. And like I said, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I go this way a lot. Less cars. But for some reason, the roads have been quite busy today. You see all the, the Halloween decorations. Man, there's this one on the main drag right block over from where my street is. <clears throat> you can't even walk through their yard. They got so many of them blow up decorations. There's two cars coming now. <coughs> Getting over <coughs> what you call it upper chest uh, upper, upper respiratory infection I didn't get as bad as everybody else in the house but I still got it I miss riding the minis down these roads but I'm scared to death to uh, get in trouble with the law. See how it looks a little moist right here? Where it's right next to that, because it ain't rained today. But right back there, you can tell it looks kind of moist. Well, in the wintertime, that turns to black ice. You come down this road and, it, and it's lumpy and there ain't nothing smooth about this road. You know, you got the curve going on and everything. Don't take nothing for a car to slip over and smack that guardrail.
doctors got smacked <laughs> right above my uh, brow and on the face shield with a bug. Hard to believe there's any out. It's well, when I left the house, it's supposed to be around 60, but I don't believe it. But now we're going with the sun, and the sun ain't in our face. You can see more of the colors. The sun's working with us. I don't know what it is about this area, these, but both these blue fields. Right when it goes to cool off and right when it goes to warm up is when everybody does their moving. It's like there's hardly any in between. I definitely think this thing needs a little more... Uh, just a little more of, not a bunch. Sun hitting them tail lights almost looked like there was somebody sitting there with their foot on the brake. On that uh, explorer back there. Tricks in the past by, I don't know that. Oh, we done passed by. Let's go say <laughs> the Dollar Gentral. <laughs> I don't know where it come from, but uh, I watch uh, Sleeper Dude, his channel on YouTube, which he's, in my opinion, quite entertaining. And uh, that's what he calls it, the Dollar Gentral. Yeah, and I'm not even going to try to hit that steep thing. I'm, 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 I'm debating on how to go about this. Getting back over that hill. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to get some more belts. I, I haven't yet, and I should have already. But, uh... Uh... Now, the top of this hill, if I get below 24, it, there's something definitely different about this. I'm already at 24. I'm going to lose some. Yep, 23. I'm going to have to look at my last video and see if I uh, got slower than that. But there's no good crossover point for something like this scooter. That's, that's the biggest thing. Why, that's the only reason why I need more power. Because if this was flat, it's nothing but patches. Uh, if this was good and flat, we need no uh, more power. <coughs> Watch, once I get down, going down this slope here, it'll get up to 30 something mile an hour. No, no, you know, no time. Trying to figure out how to get across here, though. But at least you did get to see some deer. Yeah, this thing should have got up over 30. I don't understand it. It's like we're losing power. There's where I normally go up over that hill, but this sucker's just too steep. Like I say, the spot that I can get over isn't as steep, but uh, it's busy traffic-wise. You see that hill there? That the one that we just passed where I normally go over is a lot steeper than that. And up the way here is the other one I tried the one I did the uh, on the BT200X big hill climb it's the one I still lived in this neighborhood if you remember this alleyway yeah, he's getting over so let me get over there let 
but uh yeah it was the second one I tried that I couldn't uh, get over But yeah, that's the gist of it. Yeah, you probably remember this little area from my mini bike videos if you watched all them. Yeah, I might not hardly get up this hill. I'm already at 17 14 12 10 Yeah, here's the I'll point us up there This is the other hill I tried it wouldn't go up it But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here and uh, I Hope you enjoyed it Un momento, por favor. Yeah, down there at that light is where I got over the hill. Oh, just lost my boat. It's on the floorboard. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And tell your friends, share the crap out of it.